Today we're going to be looking at the Rhodesian Light Infantry. And perhaps I should greet you by saying, How's it my Chinas? Those RLI Owens XA, they are the main mana. I tune you straight. <laughs> and if I continued in that vein, you probably wouldn't know what I was talking about. But it was one of the, uh, the hallmarks of the RLI. Uh, their slang and their infectious good humour. So let's take a look at a couple of photos from the RLI Regimental Association. Without question, these men were the front teeth of the Rhodesian army. They may appear young, but they were combat hardened and unbeaten on the battlefield. They never lost a single engagement with the enemy, nor did they ever retreat. Well, neither did we for that matter. But the RLI got the job done with deceptive ease and in a way that more often than not made the gooks look like a bunch of idiots. These guys are getting ready for a big punch up. In the background, we see an orders group where the stick leaders are being briefed on the latest information available, numbers and positions of enemy troops, suspected weapons, presence of local tribesmen, location of friendly forces and so on. The two gunners in the foreground are not particularly interested in the meeting taking place behind them. They know they will be filled in later by their respective section commanders. And so in the meantime, they're making sure that they're well prepared for the fight. The man on the right appears to be pouring oil onto the gun's working parts. So this may indicate that the picture was taken during the rainy season. We like to run our weapons dry in winter and well oiled during the summer months. Notice the camouflage denims and long-sleeved shirt. This is how the army preferred we kitted ourselves out when in the bush. These guys are complying, either because it's a cold day or because there are too many big shots around watching them. But when they're away from prying high command eyes and the sun is shining brightly, <laughs> this is how they look. <laughs> this guy is double rugged. But believe it or not, he's quite able to go into action looking like this. He's got water, I suppose there's some food in his kidney pouch, he's got a weapon, and he's got plenty of ammo, so he's good to go. <laughs> he may get cold during the night without a sleeping bag, but there were guys who didn't bother too much about that. If he'd been in my stick though, I think I would have told him to put a shirt on. Not for reasons of modesty but because the sun is going to cook him. <laughs> he can smear some camo cream on his arms and legs, no problem. But please get something on that back. Uh, this is my favourite image of the typical Rhodesian soldier, irrespective of what regiment he served in. Unlike the belligerent, moody heroes of Hollywood, these men are happy, and I'll tell you why. They can smile and relax because they are good at what they do. If you don't know what you're doing, then it stands to reason you will be miserable and unhappy. They look very much as though a photographer has stopped them, perhaps on the way to grab a bite to eat at the cook tent. They're certainly not on patrol or anything like that. Notice the rifleman has no webbing, but he's making sure his R1 is with them. Let's focus on the MAG gunner since he seems to be the centerpiece of the picture. You'll notice a little red disc sticking out from the front of his shirt. That's one of his dog tags. He left two. The red one is water resistant. The other, grey in colour, will be fire resistant. Both will have his name, service number and blood group stamped on them. We can tell he's picked the gun up in a hurry for the picture. The sling is not around his shoulders as is normal and the rear sight has been dislodged and is sticking up. This gun has a fairly long belt of ammo. A lot of gunners would prefer to use a much shorter belt. Sometimes I've seen as few as 30 rounds and they would join the two ends to form a loop and load this into the weapon. This means that there's much less chance of the belt getting tangled up as one walked through the bush. In the event of a contact, they would let rip with a short belt, which of course would immediately fragment, and then change over to a long belt for sustained firing. But as they say, each to his own. Just above the gunner's right hand is a tube running below the barrel. If you look to the end of it, you'll see what appears to be a round knob with holes in it. That's the gas regulator. Some guys would actually stick a piece of wire through one of the holes and over the top of the barrel to lock the plug into position once the gunner is sure of his setup. One must remember that this gun is good for a thousand rounds a minute. 
and you don't want the thing running out of breath just when you need it most. Would you like to hear what this weapon sounds like at full song? Listen in. This is an authentic recording of a Rhodesian MAG being fired at the RAR depot at Balabala Bala in 1977. Watch your front. That's a frightening sound for a gook to hear. A thousand rounds a minute as he's being relieved of his worries and assisted into the next world. <laughs> Within the Rhodesian Security Forces, the RLI was part of 2 Brigade and the battalion that I served with, 5RR, was also part of that brigade. So. I won't say that we rubbed shoulders as regiments with the RLI on a regular basis, but we certainly did come into contact with them. And um, they were men for whom I have the utmost regard, men whom I greatly admired and still do. And we were very fortunate during the years of that bush war to have such a fine regiment to serve us. And so it just remains for me to say once again, uh, thank you very much for your comments. Thank you for watching, and if I was an RLI troopy, I would be saying to you, check you again next time, Axe. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone.